Hey, it's show and tell. Now I'm showing you one of my prized possessions. This is a sample of glucose in which one of the carbons, the first carbon, carbon number one, has been replaced by C13. That the most common isotope of carbon is C12, which has six protons and six neutrons in its nucleus. Carbon 13 is slightly heavier because it has six protons and seven neutrons in its nucleus. The reason I uh, talk to you about this now is because of all of the talk that has been going on about enriching uranium. Uh, uranium-235 is the one that is needed to make a nuclear weapon, but it's only 1% of all the naturally occurring uranium, most of which is uranium-238. So you have to separate the isotope in order to make a nuclear weapon. Now back to my C-13 here. Uh, when I was in graduate school many years ago, I was doing research with carbon-13. We were doing some NMR spectroscopy in which I needed to make some compounds that had C-13 in it. And uh, one of the ones that uh, we purchased so that I could compare the ones that I synthesized to it was this one. In those days, this was in the early 1970s, this was over a thousand dollars, which was a lot of money in those days. So the question is, how do you do this? How do you enrich a compound with C13 in one position? Well, first of all, you have to have some C13. And uh, what we really needed to do that reaction uh, to synthesize this was uh, potassium cyanide, in which the carbon is enriched with uh, C13. And the way that that is done is by taking carbon monoxide gas and uh, cooling it down until it uh, becomes a liquid and then distilling it. Now, because carbon monoxide in which the carbon is a C13 is somewhat heavier, it will be more difficult to distill. So in a complex distillation process, you can separate carbon monoxide that has a C12 and carbon monoxide that has a C13 in it. Uh, once you have the C13 carbon monoxide, it can be converted to uh, formamide, which has a C13 in it, which then can be converted to cyanide. And when the cyanide is reacted with arabinose, which is a five carbon sugar, it adds to it and you can make the six carbon glucose. And that's what I have here. And as you can imagine by the process I just described, which is pretty elaborate, you understand why it cost that much. So uh, whenever I was handling this uh, compound, you can imagine that my hands were shaking because if you drop a flask, you're losing a lot of uh, money. Anyway, it all turned out fine. I did my work with C13, and now I have this memento of that experience. And it also allows me to explain what Iran has been doing. Uh, they have been separating the uh, lighter C13, or the, the, the lighter uranium uh, isotope from the heavier one, because it is what is needed in the making of uh, the nuclear weapon. All right, so anyway, now you can appreciate why I have held on to this and why I rarely pull it out to show someone. Incidentally, carbon-13 is not radioactive, so we do not have that worry. And that for today is our show and tell.